Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video we are going to be solving another mystery. Today we are going to be finding a missing princess and there's a pretty big reward at the end. So if you stumble into the city of Van Horn on the outside of the saloon there's actually a poster that you can interact with and it's actually a poster for a missing person. Now this missing person happens to be Princess Isabeau Katharina Zinmeister. Zinsmeister. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, it says reward on the 15th anniversary of the disappearance of Princess Isabeau Katharina Zinsmeister. The Grand Duchy of Luxembourg is offering a $100 reward for her safe return to the authorities. Now it says, the princess disappeared at age five during a royal visit to the United States in June of 1884. She has blonde hair and birthmarks on her right hand and left cheek. If found, please return her to the nearest sheriff's office immediately. And this is actually a poster that you can interact with and that you can keep for yourself so that you can view at every single moment of the game that you want. So there's a lot to break down here. Okay, so let's talk about what we know so far. Her family sailed from Europe to America, and she disappeared from a hunting lodge during a royal visit in 1884. Now, her whereabouts or wellness is unknown, and because she was five years old when she went missing, and it's the 15th year anniversary, she would be 20 years old with blonde hair, a birthmark on her left cheek, and a birthmark on her right hand. So that's essentially the person that we would want to be looking for today, someone around that description. And unfortunately in Red Dead Redemption 2, there's a lot of 20 year old girls that could look like that. But are there some specific ones in game that could actually be her? We're gonna be talking about all the theories and more in this video today. So the first big clue has to come from Van Horn. And there's multiple different instances in which you can actually get, gather some clues about the princess. So if you go to the Van Horn trading post, which is the fence, you'll actually find inside there's a very mysterious object. And that object is like a treasure chest or a baggage belongings chest. And it looks very nice. There are some dolls on top with a baseball and a baseball bat on the side, and it actually has the initials I-K-Z. And if you guys remember our princess's name, it's Isabeau Katharina Zinsmeister, which would have the initials I-K-Z. Now, why would this be in the fence, which is known for sourcing and selling illegal or illicitly found goods? goods. And what's interesting is that seal that you can see below is actually the coat of arms of Luxembourg, which would exactly match her origin. So we definitely know that this is her trunk, this is her chest, but where is she located? That again is the most interesting part. At this point, we have no clue and there aren't a lot of signs that point to where she could be. Now there are NPCs that you can talk to throughout the world that will actually reference the missing princess. The first can actually be found in Van Horn. If you spend enough time in the saloon, eventually someone will come up to you and start talking to you about the missing princess. You ain't looking for that princess, are is you? you? Already made us Had a few fellers here, so through here recently them. asking about that. Chasing some reward for some European princess missing for 15 years now. Damn fools. Only princesses in Van Horn charged by the hour for less than a royal buck. Anyways, <laughs> you clearly don't know what I'm talking about. So that man didn't offer a lot of advice, but it seemed to indicate that there hadn't been a princess around here, at least a real one, anytime soon. That's the first instance. The second instance can actually be found by a camper just north of the Elysian Pool. This guy has a very interesting conversation with you, and I'll let you guys take a listen to it right now. I'm sorry. I'm not myself these days. I don't know if you've ever had an obsession in your head. You know, something that takes a hold and won't let go. When I came to this country over seven years ago now, I heard about this reward. Yes, now I have your attention, see? 
A princess from Europe was lost here when she was a child 15 years ago. Her body was never discovered. Her country still has hope and is offering a lot of money to anybody who can bring her in. I've been looking for her ever since, on and off. A man told me to look in the town of Van Horn, so that's where I'm headed now. It's probably nothing again. For a man who lives like me, free and on the move, it's strange. I just can't let it go. But it feels, you, you know, unfinished. So this guy gives us the hint to go check in Van Horn, which we already have, but it seems that he is obsessed with trying to find this princess, like a little bit too obsessed. Like there's detectives that want to be good at their job. And then there's this guy who just is creepily overly obsessed with finding the princess. Now, there's more information that we can actually get from a newspaper article. It's actually the New Hanover Gazette issue number 29. And there's an article called Royal Kidnap, and it gives us more details on Princess Isabeau. So it says, Luxembourg Royal, 15-year anniversary of suspected kidnapping. So it looks like it is a kidnapping. Luxembourg. In a royal proclamation, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg has issued a decree offering a reward of $1,000 for information resulting in the whereabouts of Princess Isabeau. The princess disappeared from a remote hunting lodge while on a hunting trip during a private family visit to the United States. She was five years old at the time. Some believe she was murdered. Some say that she was abducted and kidnapped. Although no ransom note was ever received, others persist that she was eaten by wild animals. Her disappearance has been a source of never-ending trauma and embarrassment to the royal family, and especially her brother, who has frequently implored the American people to assist in finding information uh, regarding her whereabouts, and himself denies any wrongdoing in the case of her going missing. So that is interesting. There's a couple of things that are different here, and we also get more information. Number one, the introduction of the brother. Is he important in something like this? And also number two, the reward seems to be up to $1,000. Now, I don't know if that was just like a typo or if that was just you know misinformation. Whatever the case is, uh, it's still kind of interesting. Now, if you've reached the epilogue of the game, you can find another camper who has some information on the potential whereabouts of the princess. This man can actually be found just north of Blackwater, near the upper Montana River. Take a listen to what he has to say. The eyes. I stopped by this settlement over in Tall Trees the other week. Man's in need of post. Traded some furs for tools. All Nordic types. Real strange. They tripped over themselves to make me welcome. Right, you know what I'm talking about. All handshakes and smiles. The smiles where the eyes don't join in. And there's an old feller sitting there ranting and raving in whatever language it is. Then I walk around the back and see another feller with his head in his hands and a girl crying. There's something real wrong about the place. Just kind of stuck with me. So he mentions Man Zanita Post is where we should go next. And if you go there, you will find like a bunch of Norwegian Viking people. I don't know if they're connected in any way, shape, or form, but if you actually go ahead and inspect one of the houses that they're at, you can actually find a couple of items, including some very interesting things that could relate to this story. And that is a Norwegian photo, and that Norwegian photo might be our missing princess. And you can also find a Norwegian journal page as well. Both are pretty interesting. Now, the Norwegian journal page is in Norwegian, which will actually translate in a little bit. But the photograph right there, is this our missing princess? And is this her all grown up? Now, what's kind of interesting is in this photo, she is also holding a doll, which is very similar to the dolls that can be seen on the actual like steamer trunk that was at the Van Horn fence. So all the pieces are starting to line up here. Now, if that photo is recent, it would likely indicate that she is still alive, still somewhere out there in the world to be found. But there's definitely a lot of different theories here that we can jump into and we can sort of try and decipher what's going on. So the first theory is she could be dead. This could be a dead end, no pun intended, and all these wanted posters could all be for nothing. She could not be alive, maybe she's underwater, somewhere hidden in a cave, we don't know. 
The next thing is this could be a DLC. We have seen Rockstar stretch out mysteries into downloadable content and updates in the past, so it wouldn't be shocking if she's not in the game now, but could be going forward. The next theory is that she's actually hidden on the second floor of the fence at Van Horn. So there's a lot of signs that point to this. The luggage with her initials on them. There's actually dogs that will constantly lead you to that area. And they will also start barking at the second story. And there's also a second story to the fence that you can see. There's just no access to it. Like the door has been blocked off. So is someone hidden upstairs and is that the princess? If so, that could be pretty interesting. Now the only other theory I have is that something at Manzanita Post is significant. And I'm not sure what the significance of Manzanita Post could actually be. The only other thing we saw there was that Norwegian newspaper clipping, which a rough translation is, a man, a woman, and a child found dead and stabbed in the woods behind Osted yesterday morning. Said that the man originally came from Tanager in French North Africa, and the woman was in a community of religions living in a farm near Korsham. The child was no more than two years old. The rest of the small community, like others in the community for the most part, has lived in a depressed life, is as sunk in the ground, and the police encourages anyone who is informed about where the community is located uh, should contact them. Again, it's a really rough translation, but it has to do with like another kidnapping and another death to a family. So I wonder if this is in any way, shape, or form related. So I think those are our two best theories, that one, something is going on at Manzanita Post, or two, something is going on with the fence at Van Horn. And those two locations have some connection to our princess that has gone missing. So as always with videos like this, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Get involved. Let me know what you think has happened to the princess. Is she in the game? Is she dead? Is she going to be added in a DLC? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.